Hopefully we get on the bloody plane. We made it! We have arrived! High five! The place we actually booked for a week or two in the middle of the forest. so if you are new to this channel welcome so we are a family of four that decided to go on a long-term uh, travel adventure and we made a video a couple of weeks ago um, giving more details about that if you're interested so I will um, link it um, in the description below so we are leaving Perth in three days time to go to Cairns which will be our first stop so we will spend a few months there renting a furnished place um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to um, follow all our adventures in Cairns and then we're gonna go um, down the coast of Australia before going overseas um, later on yeah so we are still in our um, um, old uh, rental that we had in Perth and we are trying to clear everything so we sold much of our big furniture and now we have all um, the bits and you know pieces um, left that we tried to get rid of so we are just doing like a garage cell um, that was on this morning um, but there's still uh, heaps of stuff left I don't know if you will be able to relate but I was looking at all of that and I was thinking oh my gosh we tend to accumulate so much stuff like there's so much clutter so many things that i haven't used in months and um, i'm really looking forward to um, be gone just with a small bag with just like essential because i feel like you know you need to let go of the things that you don't use anymore just to be able to receive um what you want in your life hey guys it's now the next day and we've been actually cleaning um the place uh, pretty much all day so it was pretty intense and i stink so bad <laughs> and no matter what we say oh we're gonna this time we're gonna be nice and early we're gonna have it done yeah, by two well, I was too optimistic. I said that I would have like two hours of cleaning, and in the end, I was more like yeah. six or and seven. I dropped hours. the keys off at four oh, fifty-seven, and I closed at five. <laughs> and said, "Oh, you could have just dropped it off in the morning." I'm like, Alright. no, <laughs> we're flying at five forty-five a.m. Yeah, no so we we're flying. Uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, super early with uh, both kids. So we we'll see how this um, goes. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> another, another day. Mission. Another day tomorrow. And now we have to be very quick because Alicia is uh, sleeping in the car, so yeah, we can't true. leave her very long. But anyway, um, bye to this place that um, we've been cleaning all day. So now it's all empty. I just want to have some food. We didn't even eat. All day pretty much I was such a you know like a robot trying to get it done and it's finally done so now to get some food and just to try to have a bit of a rest before flying super early tomorrow for a new adventure see ya hey guys it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm so excited and I'm freezing as well but um, this is it, it's the day we fly to Cairns and um, hopefully have a good flight with two kids because yeah, I don't know how um, Ella is going to be in the flight um, but we shall see very soon <laughs> Look at that! Oh, hopefully they can see. Never been that packed in my life. Hopefully we get on the bloody two plane. Two car seats, three bags, and two small bags and a cot, and two kids. <laughs> 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 okay, well let's do this. Let's try. You think you can push a thing? <laughs> oh, shit.
we just did uh, Perth to Sydney, uh, four hours, which was okay. Like, Ella didn't really cry. Ali was good. Okay, I have to walk. And now we are in uh, Sydney airport and we are waiting for the next flight, um, Sydney to Cairns. We made it! We have arrived! In camp! Yeah! High five! Yeah! Good job! <laughs> yeah! So, we are just getting our car now. Um, we got a rental for four days um, just for us to uh, have some time to actually check um, and find a car to buy. So for now, we have um, this mantle which we just fit uh, for all our bags. It's uh, 6 p.m. and it's actually about 24 degrees and you can feel that, um, you know, tropical uh, vibe and like holiday uh, vibe. So, so good. Amazing. And I can't wait to actually arrive to um, the place we actually booked for a week or two in the middle of the forest so um, stay tuned for this I think that's gonna be so cool and the flight uh, wasn't too bad at all um, Ella slept um, pretty much the whole time uh, she fed and slept and Ali was pretty good you were pretty good in the Hello. plane yes you were Good, good girl. See you. I woke up actually super early this morning um, for our first uh, morning here in our new house uh, even though I'm so sleep deprived I don't know if you have um, the same thing happening to you but every time that um, we travel and that we arrive into a new place I actually get that same feeling I remember when I was a kid um, just before Christmas you know I couldn't sleep because I was so excited well travel actually um, give me the same feeling and I think it's the only thing that does that that yeah I couldn't um, and I woke up to actually have a feed and I think it was like 4.30 uh, Western Australia time where we were living before so I think there's two hours and different so here it's like 6 30 but for me it was like 4 30. yeah i woke up and i could hear you know the sounds of nature and i wanted to check the view and everything so yeah i got up and it actually feels good to wake up early and now the sun is actually up and it's warming up the place so nice. I'm gonna have a tea now. Look at this spot. I'm gonna sit right here. So we're just on our way down back to Cairns you'll see how high up we are. We're on our way to grab some lunch and then view some properties. Hopefully we like what we see and we can get an application in quickly and then we can move in ASAP and get this get it happening, our move. Just kids are sleeping, driving through the rainforest. <laughs> That's Felix, so, so happy. Cool. 
is that we uh, have uh, one key that you get through our locksmiths, it's a certain style of key. Yep. You can So today we went to check a um, few places that were available uh, to rent and the first one that was in the same complex, two of them, in Cairns and actually the road was close to it, a very big road, very busy and that didn't feel right at all. And then we went to see one that is um, in York is not, which is like 30 minutes, I think, from mm, Cairns. Yeah. And it's way um, quieter. And it's just opposite a golf course. And it's so nice, so much bigger. Um, yeah, it felt, you know, bigger. And it's got a desk in there. And it's just quiet and so beautiful. And it's felt more like it's what we want actually, we don't want to be you know, in the busy cans and stuff. So we applied for this one and um, tomorrow we have another viewing and Friday as well and we have to kind of hurry because um, Peter will work um, in like a week and a half, he needs to be you know, set up with his equipment and have internet and everything. To work for a week um, and yeah what we want to do is to rent a place for maximum I think six months which will give us a good amount of time to just check um, the area and then we we'll probably move on um, after six months so yeah maximum six months that will give us enough time to um, see everything but wow what a first day it is just beautiful. Mm. What I found is you can look at pictures online beforehand, but you know, it won't capture it's just how big these mountains are, like that make yeah. up the rainforest, and how m many different ranges there are. It's like, it's not just this five. one, it's, it's and there's different. I can imagine needing at least four to six months mm. um, to check it out. And, so much to see. Mm, so, oh, it's just beautiful, seriously. Um, and you, it's, it's winter here, um, but at times it can feel not hot, but it's not freezing cold, and that's obviously the tropical mm -hmm. climate. It's a bit like humid, but I expected it to be hotter than that. I was actually, it was quite windy today at some point, and a bit like raining, which is rare, I think, for this period. Mm. And um, yeah, it was almost cold. I had a jacket and stuff, but yeah, apparently that's gonna be like weather like that a bit weird, and then it's gonna be hotter probably. <coughs> and we found this fruit that we've been talking about for a while. Uh, what's it called? Black sapote. Yep. And apparently inside it tastes like a um, chocolate pudding kind of thing. So we've never tried that, 
So it's not ripe for now. We have to wait a few more days, but it would be nice to um, test this. And we also got this one, which is called what? Apple custard? Cust custard apple. Custard apple. apple, apple. Custard. I'm not sure which way it goes, but. And um, yeah, I think I've already seen that in Perth, but I've never tried either. It feels very like soft and almost like, you know, the texture I think is very like mushy, very, yeah, soft. And the other one as well, like, um, yeah, custard or something. So we'll try this. So that's what we've been doing today. Oh, and you probably see that I've gotten up five times in four minutes. <laughs> That's a mini shot of life with uh, a six-week-old. Eight, almost on Friday. <coughs> She's very um, different than Alicia. She's so like needy. She always needs to be you know, having cuddles and milk and everything. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think I tried to for the second child to be like that. So yeah, that's the way it is. Hey, you're a bit sad. So sad. Okay, we'll check on you um, later.